So interestingly enough, there are still a few little tiny issues coming around for the iPhone 14s. Now, I will tell you, it's not anything crazy, and I don't think it's affecting a bunch of different people out there, but I will probably tell you the iPhone 14 and iOS 16, from what I've been hearing from a lot of people, is looking like one of the most sloppiest releases of pretty much any iPhone out there. I think it's quite obvious by now. But with the iPhone 14 Pro Max, essentially what's going on this time around is that some of these iPhones, and I think an iPhone 14 Pro as well, but it looks like for the most part it's the iPhone 14 Pro Max, a lot of people after updating to iOS 16.2, they are actually seeing a little screen issue where essentially there's like these green lines going across the whole entire display. And some people notice it when they actually turn on the phone for the first time. It looks like it could be from one line to multiple lines. And it looks like there's going to be a you know bug fix, you know, essentially a software update that is going to fix this. Now, coming from the last couple of iPhones, I don't think there was an iPhone release that was as weird as this one or that was as sloppy as this one. I think with the, first of all, the addition of the 14 Plus, I keep forgetting about that iPhone, but with the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max, if you remember, there was also that camera rattling issue where if you open up apps like Snapchat or Instagram, where randomly those applications were just not, I guess, optimized for the cameras and they would make the cameras rattle like crazy. That was one of the most weirdest things ever and that actually ended up happening with my iPhones. Very rarely does an actual like bug that affects a lot of people end up affecting me. I don't really, you know, I don't know, just like I don't really experience those types of issues. And this time I experienced it and it was so, it was just so weird. Now with the iPhones in this case, I don't really think it's worth taking your phone into Apple just yet. I would give it until the next update comes out. And if your iPhone 14 Pro or 14 Pro Max, or even if any iPhone that you have for the most part, if it's still experiencing those types of green line, you know, horizontally type of issues, well, it would probably make the most amount of sense if you just go ahead and take your phone into Apple and or contact Apple support and just to let them know, hey, you know, I'm having this issue. But for the time being, up until I guess iOS 16.2.1 or 16.3 comes out, you are probably going to, I wouldn't freak out about your iPhone. I wouldn't, you know, think about it too much. Just know that there's an update that's probably going to be coming very, very soon. And if you already have one of these newer iPhones, you're probably not going to have to, you know, get a service repair program. You're not going to have to basically pay any money, probably, if you have to get it fixed anyway. So just wait it out. Just don't break the screen or anything, and you should be good to go for the most part. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.